Hi everyone, uh, this is Alexander from the Indigo Lights channel. I'm very pleased to be back with you. I want to send you my love and my gratitude, and I wanted to take a few minutes to talk a bit about the period of time that we're in, in terms of its energies, its uh, challenges, the obstacles, and the momentous kind of energetic downpour that is coming uh, at this moment, and how to handle it mostly. Uh, we went to the Lion's Gate from the 8 8 until the 12th, which was yesterday. Um, it was definitely a challenge in terms of integrating the energies and accepting. There's an alignment with the central sun of the multiverse. Energy comes through the planet at a higher level than, than usual. And often it's difficult to accommodate in terms of our frequencies. I've received some insights that I wanted to share and also um, how to accommodate these energies in a general kind of way. The energies will continue until the end of the month. I got a message yesterday for, it was for the purple wave, for the indigo children, um, but not only for them, in terms of the early waivers, that we are in a place of integrating our final frequency. We all started our journeys as spiritual beings with a certain frequency a long time ago. As a lesson, we kind of, for more often than not, came into a physical body and we devolved, so the frequency became less. We retained our original frequency, but we never were able to live up to it in terms of um, ascending again and now we're being given that gift and my understanding from you know the the channeling yesterday in the last couple of weeks especially in terms of the challenges which i will cover in a second is that um we are given our original frequency back and its integration is not always easy and that happens until the month of august um i do get a lot of emails about people that have to deal with any kind of symptomology from you know nervousness to lack of sleep to difficulties, irritability, any kind of, you know, thing that's, that kind of highlights the difficulty of the body to integrate these frequencies. So I wanted to take a few minutes just to touch on that. I alluded to this in my previous video in terms of using the energy of love with your hands as, as a vessel and applying it to different parts. And um, I've, I've been asked to create an event at the end of the month uh, on the 22nd to integrate the, the new frequency, the new energy, um, specific tools physically in terms of an activation and initiation. So we'll be touching on that. The links will be available soon. In terms of um, what I alluded to in the last videos is the using the energy of love for this purpose. Applying your hands as a vessel to the body and being in acceptance of what is going through your body, through your chakras at the moment in terms of outer energies and using also your innate ability to channel the energy we call love, L-O-V-E. It's not, uh, not in the way that we understand it colloquially, but in a, in a higher kind of realm as an energy an energy that is more tangible than not and allowing this energy to pass through the body and doing that with the um with, with full acquiescence from ourselves and with um the request of assistance uh from the from our guidance okay so be, be requesting our guidance to help us integrate and um, activate all the cells and all the the dna that is getting an upgrade um, just imagine it like this you have a vessel that's that's able to carry a certain energy that you couldn't imagine 20 years ago. And today it's been given that energy. So there's a lot of, we've gone through the, uh, the clearings, we've gone through the purging and all these things, um, but the energy is much higher than our physical level is able to accommodate even at this time that we've done all this clearing work. So it still takes a bit of time. You may see a surge of irritability and um, nervousness, lack of sleep, all these things I alluded to a few minutes ago. And this is just something that you can work on by sitting down with your guidance, asking for help. There is a uh, complicit relationship between you and your guidance at this time, a partnership, 50-50, you acquiescing to receive, and they are the ones that are using the energies uh, and kind of transferring them to you because they don't necessarily exist in the physical realm. So it's much easier for them to do that. I feel like it's important to share the message and I will, during the event that I mentioned, cover specific tools because I'm not in the, in the realm of the abstract. I like to do things pragmatically. Um, how to integrate these things fully. There are some little tricks and tools that you can use that I've learned over the years in order to make these things easier. I would really, really suggest everyone to take as much time as possible to rest and to hydrate, to meditate. Meditating means separating yourself from your physical reality and integrating all of the frequencies here and now into your physical body and allowing. 
and repeating as a mantra the acceptance of whatever is to come without really fighting or without really trying to understand everything. Um, any kind of symptoms that we feel within our bodies, 99% of the time is just resistance. So to address the resistance head on and say, I feel like there is a blockage in my solar plexus and my throat chakra, I'm irritable, I'm not sleeping, this and that and the other, which is kind of the aggregation of the emails that I'm getting. Um, what can I do about it? First of all, as I mentioned before, working with guidance, asking for the support, and uh, working on the physical integration, which means taking time out of our, our day, as busy as it may be, for our benefit, to our benefit, and um, meditating. Meditating, taking a break, not Kit Kat, but taking a break from the day, going within, breathing properly, oxygenating, hydrating. I find myself super dehydrated lately for no reason, okay? But these energies. Um, and also being mindful of your behavior towards others because sometimes we're more irritable kind of you know We blur things out things come out in the wrong way and they're of no consequence and no importance in the long term Okay, so to be mindful that if we're out of balance, it's our own responsibility to manage that Therefore it may be to your benefit to rest as much as you can as I said before hydrate and Meditate if you feel like you're losing your balance and this is up to your mindfulness to to us to ascertain if, if it is happening or not Take the time to sit down and meditate. And again, we're working with guidance. I understand that this period is going to last until the month of August for the early waivers. And you know if that pertains to you or not. And I'm not trying to divide. You know, there are different stages of awareness. We all chose to wake up at a certain time and to go through a process. We need to respect each other's uh, trajectory. But for the people that have been doing this for a longer period of time, I feel like this is the end. The end. And once you receive and you integrate your... Um, how do you call it? your pro prototypical or your archetypal frequency, you can start to function the way you were created at the beginning of the beginning, even though you're in a physical body. And that means starting to create a new reality for yourself. I get, you know, I, I get a lot of emails also about relocation. Relocation means starting a new life, a new chapter somewhere else, somewhere else that perhaps uh, connects and resonates with who you are as a person more than the place you are and the places you've been before. And it may be a place you've never been. But there is the kind of yearning to go somewhere where you don't you feel drawn, but you don't really understand the why. And to start a new chapter. And that's just, there is a need also to accept that we are given a new life. A new, not a new lease on life, but a new life. There was an old chapter and a new chapter. And you kind of need to go along with what's coming. You can't really fight it. Uh, it's important to work with your soul as well in meditation. Summon your soul and ask the, it's also a very obviously complicit relationship there. You know, you have a partnership since before you're born. And to ask what the soul wants and where it wants to take you. You're not going to understand everything at once. It, it's not, it's counterproductive to know everything from the beginning. But you will have that uh, necessity to understand the kind of big picture. Where is it taking you? What's the, what's the direction? So you don't try to go in the different direction by way of your willpower or your ego or your fear and then just end up where you're supposed to end up anyways. Okay, I hope that helps. Just some little tips uh, that I wanted to share. Um, rest as much as you can. That's the best advice I can give you from this entire video, honestly. If it's always in, in terms of the uh, integration, even we've had these things in the past as well, if you don't rest properly, it's going to sit on you like a, like sometimes like a ton of bricks and it just doesn't go into your tissues and your nervous system, your adrenal system, your lymphatic system and your circulatory system and it doesn't cycle properly and hydrate. Okay. And try to eat light and properly as, as much as you can. Um, that's it. I want to send you my love. Uh, there's an event coming in the 22nd, as I mentioned, you're going to have it in the, I'll put it in the description as soon as I can. It's going to be on the website, uh, indigolightlove.com. If you're not subscribed to the Indigo Light channel, if you're on a higher self channel, just go to Indigo Light, uh, subscribe to our channel, activate the notification on, with the bell thingy and check out the community tab and our Facebook page as well. If you want to ask any questions, if you want to book any sessions, any kind of you know inquiries regarding the services that are offered, uh, you can go to indigolightlove.com or you can just write me an email at indigolight2222 at gmail.com. In the meantime, I send you my love. I send you my best and positive energies for the month of August and I'll see you very soon. Thank you.